Hi, let's see how to create image masks with text in Elementor and CSS. Something like this. Open your Elementor page and use a text editor widget. You can also use a heading, but in my case, I will use text editor and place it on my page. Type your text here, for example, summer. And in this case, I will use uh, just simple styling within Elementor. You can also give this a certain CSS class and style it in your CSS sheet. I will go to the Style tab and click on Typography and Color. I will set the color to black for now, but it doesn't really matter. And the Typography, I will change it to Montserrat. I will change the size to something quite big so that we can see the effect properly. And I will change the weight to something maybe like black. I will also center my text like this. The next step is to go to the advanced panel and if you're using Elementor Pro, you will have this custom CSS field here. If you're using a free version, this field will be disabled and in that case you will have to place your CSS code using a plugin. For example, I'm using a simple custom GS uh, CSS and JavaScript plugin. For now, I will use this custom CSS field. Now let's type here selector. And first, I want to set the background image. Now I will use URL, and then if I go to my media library and find the image that I want to use, I will just copy this URL to clipboard. Now I will go back to my Elementor page and I will paste this URL here. You can see that the picture is already showing. The effect is not there yet, but we will get there in a second. So first thing that I want to do is to set the background size to cover. This will make sure that the width of my image fits the width of the container. And the next thing is to set the background clip to text and also to type the same thing but using WebKit background clip and set it to text. Now you can see that something happened here and basically we've achieved this effect. The only thing left to do is to actually make the text itself transparent so that we can see the image that's, that should come through, that's basically behind this text. So the only thing left now is to set the color of our text to transparent. In my case, I will just type color and set this to transparent. I also need to set the important tag. And there you go. Now you can see that the image is showing through and basically we get this nice punch through effect. And that's how you create image masks with text. Now there are several things that you can do here. For example, one of them is that let's say that I want to adjust the position of my photo so that I don't want just the sand to show up, but I also want to see a little bit of water. So in this case, I will use uh, background position. So background position, uh, you can set to something like center and center, but if you want to be more specific and if you want to have more flexibility to really adjust the position of your image, then you can use pixel values. So in my case, I will set something like zero pixels and then the vertical position, because I horizontally, I want it to stay as it is. But vertically, let's say that I want to move it a little bit up or down. In that case, I would type something like 100 pixels if I want to move it down, or I could type something like minus 100 pixels if I want to move it up. For example, I can set it here to something like minus 280. And you can see that if I set 290, it goes even more up. So this is how you can actually adjust the position uh, of your image and you can really control which part of the image is showing. Let's set this to 280 so that we get this nice wave in the middle. So you basically have these few options that you can play with and you can fully customize the look of this effect and the image mask used with your text. This works not only with text editor widget, it can only work with headings, with a heading widget. And the good thing about this is that if you use this custom CSS, you can also apply this to a CSS class. And this way you can easily repeat this effect on many pages of your website on multiple places and you can control it from a single place. If you're not using a uh, Elementor Pro version, I will show you how to achieve this using a free version. 
So I will just remove this code. I will copy and paste it somewhere. And in this case that you are using a free Elementor version, you won't have this custom CSS field. In that case, go to the Layout tab and apply a CSS class to your text. I will call mine Summer and click on Update. Now, if you go to your WordPress dashboard and you should use some kind of a CSS plugin. Uh, I'm using custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. You can find a link in the description of this video. And in this plugin, basically, you just want to paste the CSS code here. So basically what you want to do here is just paste the code that we used a few moments ago. And instead of selector, I will use the summer class name because that is the class name that I gave to my text. So if you're using CSS directly in Elementor, you can use selector. But in this case, we have to define the class name. So I will type dot summer and then use the same code that we used. Let's click on update and see when we refresh our page what we got. And there you go. You basically created the same effect, even if you have a free version of Elementor using some simple CSS lines of code. That's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.